This is the amount of disposable waves that gets thrown away every second around the world. And the most shocking thing to me is that every one of them contains a rechargeable lithium battery. I've collected some of these vapes and already built a power bank out of them for my German channel. But today I want to take it a step further by finding out if these cells are powerful enough to power a drone. The first thing I needed was of course a drone. So I gathered all the necessary components and started designing one on Onshape. Once the design was ready, I 3D printed it and started the assembly process. You could definitely tell it was my first drone build because I accidentally ordered the motors with two short wires. So I had to uh, solder extensions to every single one of them. After that, I assembled the rest of the drone and then plugged it into Betaflight to see if everything was working correct. I had to do a bit of troubleshooting and had to update different components before it finally worked. And then I was ready for the first test flight. Come on. Okay. Diese Einheit hier unten überhitzt die ganze Zeit. Das heißt, ich kann ihn nicht lange anlassen, ohne zu fliegen, ohne dass das Ding hier überhitzt, was echt kacke ist. Jetzt versuchen wir es nochmal. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> Scheiße! Once I knew the drone could fly with a regular LiPo battery, it was time to test the vape batteries. I started by taking one of the larger cells and connecting an XT30 connector to it to power the drone. And then I did the first hover test. I was able to get video signal through my DJI goggles, but the motors won't just start turning because the battery just could not provide enough current. To fix this issue, I took four smaller cells, charged them to the exact same voltage so they won't burn when I connected them in parallel at a pack of four and then I tried the same test again. Jawohl. Success! Sehr geil! After the successful hover test, it was time to head out to the field for the endurance test. What you're seeing here is actually the second flight. I missed recording the first one, but it wasn't much longer than this anyway. As you can see in the corner, the voltage dropped immediately and I had to land. Seht ihr sie? Ich sehe sie nicht. Da, da haben wir sie. Da ist sie ja. Scheint nicht so gut zu funktionieren mit dem Einzeller irgendwie. The concept showed promise though, but what I needed to make it work was more cells. To build the larger battery, I first had to bring all the cells to the same voltage so they won't catch fire when I connect them. I did this by connecting them with a bunch of resistors so the voltage can equalize slowly. A few moments later. After about an hour, I checked the cell's voltage and when it was the same, I soldered the cells together in packs of four and then uh, soldered these together so they are uh, basically a 2S LiPo battery. I also added a balancer cable and of course a power cable. And after that I wrapped it in tape so the battery is more shock resistant. Before we head out for the final test, I want to give you a closer look at the drone so you know what we're flying. For the video transmission, I used a DJI 04 Air unit and a Flywoo Goku flight controller. The motors are 1003 sized with 1400 kV. 
I also added a GPS, but it doesn't work very well since it's a bit too close to the other electrical components. The drone frame is designed so it can be 3D printed without any supports and it's shaped to be very stiff. I also went through a few iterations on the camera mount to reduce vibrations. I linked all the files together with a parts list in the video description. And now let's go flying! Here are some shots of the drone flying with a regular LiPo battery and what's interesting to me is that the drone is extremely quiet which I really like because you don't annoy anyone while flying. Then it was time to test the vape battery. I cruised around for a bit and then did a flip and a few speed runs and in the end I managed to get a flight time of about 6 minutes and 20 seconds. But I knew the battery still had more potential, so I charged it up to the maximum and went out for an endurance flight. This time with no flips or rolls, just to see the absolute maximum flight time. I fast forwarded the entire flight here for you, since it was pretty uneventful, but in the end I managed to get a flight time of 12 minutes and 20 seconds. If you want to build a drone yourself, click the link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Bye.